First, Dr. Oz talked about cellulite. He said vacuuming it to get rid of it is a myth. So is rubbing citrus on it and taking a mud bath, seaweed bath, and putting apple cider vinegar on it. It's also a myth that thin people can't get it. Cellulite doesn't come from being overweight. Age, genetics, and hormones weaken the connective tissue. The fibers can be strengthened with hydration and nutrition from watery foods such as cucumbers, melons, radishes, and strawberries. They have the water for collagen and other nutrients to rebuild the fibers under the skin and above the muscle. Creams with caffeine and retinols can be applied to the skin to shrink fat cells and reduce appearance of cellulite. Expensive treatments in doctor's offices don't usually work, and endermology uses suction to encourage emphatic drainage, but it costs over $400 per treatment. Dry brushes are about $20, and they exfoliate the skin and smooth the cellulite. Rub up from the foot to the thigh before showering for five minutes every morning. Then Oz talked about organic energy drinks. He thinks they are intolerable because they have added sugar and other unhealthy ingredients. Oz's guest, Kristen Kirkpatrick of the Cleveland Clinic Wellness Institute, said they are marketed as dietary supplementation, which means there is no FDA regulation and the labels don't have to list the amount of ingredients. She said a popular ingredient in energy drinks is guarana. A guarana seed has twice the caffeine of a coffee bean. Oz says do not buy a product if it doesn't list how much caffeine it has, and people shouldn't have more than 300 milligrams per day. More than that can cause heart palpitations, anxiety attacks, and causes a risk of heart attack. Kristen said energy drinks also have ginseng, but the body needs about 200 milligrams to make a difference, and the drinks have far less than that amount. She said ginseng can also make blood thinning medications less effective and cause people on those medications to be at risk of heart attack or stroke. She said there are also massive amounts of B vitamins in energy drinks. The body will absorb most B vitamins that it needs and excrete the rest, but some drinks, even the organic ones, have over 150% of the daily recommended value of B3, which is niacin, and this can cause vision problems. B6 can cause nerve damage, and these drinks have up to 2,000% more than the daily recommended amount of B6. Oz says a few of these drinks a day are no longer supplementation, they are pharmaceutical amounts. Oz's next subject was overeating. He said snack-sized bags of potato chips are more likely to cause overeating than full size because most people feel it's okay to have more than one bag. He said people are also more likely to eat twice as many calories when they are with people than when they are alone because they are distracted. People are also likely to eat less from a dark-colored plate because food blends more with light-colored plates and it's not as easy to see if too much has been eaten. People eat 22% more when the plate color matches the food color. Oz's next guest was Molly Nover Baker of Women's Health Magazine. She said people are at risk for bacterial infection before a pedicure even begins because the foot bath is usually not disinfected properly and they have fungus and germs. The solution is to get a dry pedicure. Cuticles don't need to be cut and the salon can also do dry exfoliation. She said you can also get fungus, lice, or ringworm from a haircut if the tools are not disinfected properly. The darker the blue of the barbicide, the more fungi and bacteria will be killed. The light blue is diluted. She says make sure you see the word barbicide or bring your own brush. The comb and scissors should also be disinfected with barbicide and a brush can be sprayed with disinfectant. She also said people are at risk of getting an STD from getting a wax if the same vat of wax is used for more than one person. Oz then talked about natural stain removers. He said ketchup can remove tarnish from copper cookware because it has vinegar and salt. Club soda can be used to remove blood stains by soaking it for 30 minutes and then putting it in the washing machine. Citric acid gets into the fabric and pulls out the stains. This also works on coffee, tea, and wine. Toothpaste removes tarnish on silver, jewelry, candlesticks, and other things like that because it has hydrogen peroxide in it. Apply the toothpaste and soak it in water and then rub off the toothpaste. Eyeglass stains can be removed with vodka, dip a towel into it and rub the lens, and this may work better than just with water.